Earlier this week it was reported that Michael Cohen received $500,000 from a Russian oligarch that allegedly was used to silence Stormy Daniels about her affair with Donald Trump. With the news making the rounds, late night host Stephen Colbert made sure to chime in. Tonight, has Michael Cohen been selling access to the president? Bank statements obtained by the lawyer for Stormy Daniels may indicate that he has. Star Stormy Daniels $130,000 in hush money in 2016 to keep quiet about her alleged affair with Donald Trump that reportedly took place back in 2006. In the months since the scandal was made public, the White House has denied any wrongdoing and dismissed the allegations as fake news, but Cohen's offices have since been raided by the FBI in search of additional information. The latest twist, according to Daniel's lawyer Michael Avenatti, finds that a Russian oligarch paid $500,000 to Cohen to gain access to Trump, with speculation running rampant about whether or not those funds were used to repay the hush money. Michael Cohen is selling access to Trump and should release bank statements. Michael Avenatti says https colon slash slash t dot co slash jamaica pic.twitter.com slash erpemd Newsweek at Newsweek May 9, 2018 With the Michael Cohen scandal expanding by the day, the topic was highlighted video with a comedic twist during the May 9 edition of The Late Show, Beautiful Day Here in New York Unless you're a Trump attorney and man who likes like cigarettes smell, Michael Cohen, host Stephen Colbert said. Stormy Daniels lawyer, Michael Avenatti, stormed the internet with what appeared to be Michael Cohen's bank statements and said, Cohen was selling access to the President of the United States, Colbert noted, before sarcastically adding, man, if only. Robert Mueller could afford that. The bank statements belong to the company Cohen set up to silence Stormy Daniels, essential consultants because, P. Car and Star Payoffs Incorporated, was taken, Stephen Colbert said to the laughter of the audience. The details, as I've heard them, are pretty damning, Colbert went on to say, before adding, Cohen got $500,000 from a Russian oligarch, or as Donald Trump calls it, three and a half piasterous car and stars, moving forward as the news continues to trickle out video about the scandal involving Donald Trump, Stormy Daniels and Michael Cohen, the story hovers over the head of the White House that is desperately trying to shift from the constant negative media attention. In recent days, the administration has focused on Trump pulling the United States out of the Iran deal and helping to negotiate the release of three American citizens from North Korea, though the Cohen debacle doesn't look to be coming to an end anytime soon.